we focus, we are focus. Do you start a video and you don't really know what you want to say? That's what I've done here. Hey guys, welcome to We Film Things. I am going to start this video with some amazing shots from a scramble that we did uh, at the weekend in the Lake District. Careful, cheap. shots whatsoever we want to but we have crashed the drone back in a rice field in Bali <laughs> time till we are millionaires again. We're currently driving up to the Lake District for a little Sunday adventure because we were feeling it people. We have been missing the mountains and we just thought, you know, this weekend we gotta get out there, get in nature and do something a bit fun. So what we're gonna do is a grade one scramble. I don't think we've done a proper full grade one scramble before, have we? No. Pedal to the metal, Jack's rake, and smash we're this doing it. thing. That's where we're headed. We're gonna scramble up that thing because that, that is Jack's rake. This is part of the arc, it's like a huge uh, rock outcrop. How are you feeling? Um, hoping we're not gonna get blown off the wall. Yeah, it's really windy. That's my main thought. Insanely windy. Very windy! This is where everyone is hiding, as you can tell. <laughs> We're just drinking the last of our tea, preparing ourselves mentally and physically to reach the top of what's it actually called? Pavey's Ark. Yeah, Pavey Pavey's Ark. Ark via Jack's Rake. It's not actually Jack's Rake, it's a route on Pavey Ark. It's Jack's Rake. So it takes you about an hour to walk up there, and then the, the actual scramble happens on this rock face. And I'll just draw the route on for you as well. The route looks, I mean, I'm not, it's not scientific, but the route looks something like that. It's pretty obvious the route, it's pretty cool. There's like a, a big crag in this rock which you can climb up. So to get to the rake, you have to come across this scree path to the bottom. All right, at the bottom of the rake, this is where the scrambling really begins. As you can see, it's kind of a uh, very narrow gully kind of carved into the rock face up here. And um, yeah, I don't know if you can see that up to that tree, maybe not so much, but uh, pretty narrow, pretty tight, pretty scrambly. I think with this one, it looks a lot more daunting than it is because you know, it looks really high and steep. But actually, this is a grade one, so it should be fairly accessible. It's, it's really fun, it's a little bit scary. Yeah, it's pretty scary. Scary. <laughs> That like slippy bit was a little scary because um, yeah, you don't know how like slippy the holds are. Okay, I want to show you something here because this you get hopefully get a good idea of what the rake is actually like here. Oh god! Yeah. Oh, ow, here. Yeah. Look at that. Right, that's a really good view of what the lake rake is like. You kind of got these lovely sides, kind of in that lovely V shape all the way up. Some bits are obviously steeper than others, um, and some bits are narrower than others, flatter than others, but in general, that makes it quite easy to climb, but also in a cool location. Look at that behind me, wow. This section looks pretty fun. You gotta kind of climb up here, and then kind of get onto this ledge and over this rock. So that's like a little problem. And this side, I don't know if you can see, it's just completely smooth. 
so it's going to be quite hard. You got to kind of, I guess, lever up onto that from using that side as like a bit of anchorage. Oh, <laughs> I guess I don't know. Maybe you can just pull yourself up. Woo! We've done a really good section of the climb now. I'm really enjoying it. It's pretty scary. Sometimes you can get into your own head a little bit too much and you have to just think, I can do this, it's fine. But look at this location we've ended up at. Look behind you. What? Say what? Wow. This is the kind of hold that I'm talking about. Boom. Yeah, look like at how nice good that is. Oh, you get your whole hand. They're not all like that though. And most are. You can look around for the one that's one. Yeah. Stay tight. The trick is always have three points of contact on the wall. Mm -hmm. And you'll never fall off. <laughs> we made it everybody. We're at the top. I'm what very, very Great proud climb. of us. I'm, pr I'm proud of me. I'm proud of you. I'm proud of us both. It was really good. It was, it was a good really climb. Good. I got scared at two points and like froze a little bit and I needed some moral encouragement. But I wasn't frozen for that long, was I? I provided that. Yeah. I provided that moral Be serious. I am serious. I did provide that. You did. That's it from this vlog. I hope you enjoyed a little bit of a tour. I mean, I think this is the end of the vlog. Maybe we'll do a little bit more. This is the end of the vlog. Maybe we'll do a little bit more. And maybe this will be published in 2020 when this kid gets around to it. <laughs> now there's a couple of things to know about this incredible scramble. First is it starts at a pub, I would say, called Stickle Barn or Dungeon Gill, and they are both amazing pubs. So it's a really good place to start. Parking's really easy there too. The hike up actually takes you through some beautiful scenery, you pretty much follow a river and a, and a couple of waterfalls all the way up to Stickle Tarn, which is the lake underneath Pavey Arc. You're then confronted with this massive wall of rock, which you realize you've got to climb. You then kind of go skirt around the tarn and you get to a kind of V in the rock. And that's where the rake starts, which is the thing you're gonna be scrambling up. It's actually quite easy to find it. You then have to shuffle up a, a V, a kind of crag in the rock. The trick that Alishka and I kind of found um, when we got a little bit scared on this route was that if the more confident person actually goes behind the less confident person, rather than what I think is the more intuitive way, which is the other way around, that really helped Alishka out and um, made us both feel a lot more confident actually. But the thing that Alishka and I loved about this is that you're so high up when you start this scramble, you have incredible views all the way throughout. We were really lucky because there was no rain. When we got to the top, you get an amazing sense of satisfaction. It's such a satisfying feeling having done that scramble. Um, and then you get this amazing view, both down onto the tarn itself, but then you kind of get a, another drop away, which is down into the valley. And the mountains beyond that are really stunning. For us, it was a clear day. The evening light, it just looked amazing. Really, really cool. The way down is super easy. It's pretty much the way you came up. So you don't have to worry about that. And the bonus is that, of course, you're gonna finish at the Stickle Barn or Dungeon Gill, which are pubs such hotels. I think they've got accommodation there if you wanted to stay there. The Stickle Barn is run by the National Trust and it is lush, it's so good. And when we went there, there was a little Oktoberfest, which was pretty darn cool, actually. What a way to finish the day. We're now back at the Stickle Barn. And I told you it was an excellent location because guess what's going on? It's Oktoberfest and we've got ourselves a delicious dinner. These nachos with pulled pork, lamb stew, looking at the founders of the <laughs> feast. Pretty good, right? Yeah, it's so good. It's actually so... Great um, timing. This is one of the best times of walk. Uh, this is one of the best times of year to go for a walk. Yeah, it's beautiful. It looks so autumnal. Right, gonna eat this now. Bye. So, turns out the only disadvantage of uh, scrambling is that this is what your knees look like the day after. Very attractive. <laughs>